To me, sustainability means take advantage of what's there naturally. Tom Ramirez, Ag Manager for Natrite Berry Growers. Uh, the entity that we have here in front of you is Heritage Berry Farms. I am a third generation strawberry farmer. My grandfather and my dad grew, and then me and my brothers continued thereafter. Water quality is a big issue in this area because there's a bunch of variants, and it makes it harder for agriculture to be able to sustain the crops that feed America and try to conserve water. Everyone is very, very aware of how much we're pulling out of the aquifer. Um, we are going to well meters here shortly in California. So that will be metered and logged, how much water you're using. Without good water quality, it's hard to get good plant quality. Uh, without good water quality and soil quality, it's very hard to grow good plants. So your water quality is, is paramount, really, to, to good production. I grew up in the Salinas Valley. Uh, my family has been farming here for over 50 years now, which helped me develop a lot of the relationships I have with growers now. To me, sustainability and farming go hand in hand. Uh, we're, we're stewards of the farm, of the ground, of the, of, of the soil, and without being managing all our inputs, whether it's water, it's fertilizer, uh, uh, managing our people, uh, the sustainability is such an important part. I'm Dave Santos uh, and our farm is Lucy Santos Farms. Our packing company is Blossom Hill Packing Company. We've been doing this uh, for about 40 years or, or so and uh, so it's been quite a while. Our, our family has been in farming in California. Uh, my son is the fourth generation and uh, so we've been at now 100 years. This year is our 100th year of uh, farming in California. We're battling the elements like everybody else is, you know, the smoke, uh, the dust, and you know, all the lack of rainfall, lack of snowfall. Uh, you know, we're trying to get by with less, and, uh, we're, and we're doing a better job of it. When I first started farming, it took five feet of water uh, to uh, grow a crop of apricots, and this because of this gravelly ground. Now we can do it at about two feet to a little bit less than two, but we're, we're right around two feet uh, for the apricots and cherries, basically because we can manage the water. When we have challenging soils, and, and oftentimes that is reflected, uh, reflective of soil health, um, we have a harder time managing our water, and we oftentimes encounter more water stress in the crop. Um, so really understanding the, the health of the soil and uh, intervening to improve our soil health, like uh, soil permeability, water infiltration, holding capacity. Um, every season we're doing things to try and improve that, and by doing that it allows us to better manage our water and get more use efficiency out of it. We're a small community and we try to do the best we can, but I, I look at what we're doing and uh, I worry about our existence with the this water, you know, lack of water, where we are as far as uh, the cost of, of growing, the cost of farm ground in California, but all in all, just uh, support the California farmer and farmers in general.